Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a large lion. Um, this lion, I have to make this weekend for a lady who only has a $50 budget. So I want to make it big but cute but not too elaborate to where I'm spending like hours and hours and hours and days making it. So I'm going to, I figured I would just teach it to you while I make it. I'm basically going to make my regular um, lion that I make out of 260s but only out of 646s and I'm going to dress it up a little bit and make it larger. Um, I'm going to make the body a little bit different but the head's going to be pretty much the same but I'm just going to add some extra detail to the head. So what you want to start this line is four 11 inch round yellow balloons but only um, you're going to inflate them to about a 9 inch size. So if you hold the knot, I need that one. If you hold the knot down to um, one of the me a measuring tape, it's going to, um, and when you hold it sideways, it's going to be about 9 inches. So here's a coffee cup to show you the difference. So it's about two and a half coffee cups. <laughs> it's a good way to. Uh, explain it but here's uh four 11 inch round balloons blown up to a nine inch size and you tie the knots together and then you push them together right here to make a quad and you flip one around so they're tight like this and this is going to be our base for the lion and then you want to take uh two water weights so you want to take uninflated yellow 11 inch rounds and double stuff them and then fill them up to about the size of an orange and I'll hold it I'm just gonna hold this up for reference this is just a regular coffee cup and that's sitting inside of it just so you know and then what we're gonna do is just sit this right in here you pull it and then you wedge it side by side push that down now you're lion will sit right on the table so that's what we're gonna do for that and I might have to push the camera a little bit further away but for the body I'm gonna take um, the six yellow 646s and you're gonna blow up four of them with about a five finger tail <laughs> I'm sorry you can't see me behind all these yellow balloons but Bear with me. So take four uh, 646s with about a five finger tail, which is about, let's see, about four inch, it's about a four inch tail, and then tie the ends together, two of them. And I think I dropped the one I needed. I have more. And then take two more 646s with a five finger tail. Let me see if this one's right. Ugh. No. <laughs> Hold on. I'll grab it. This fell over here. Here's my other one with the five finger tail. I have to see where I put the other one. And here's the other one. Okay. You can squeeze the air up a little bit if you have to, if they are not measuring right. And then tie the other two knots together. And you're going to take two of these up this way. One up here, one down there, and then bring them up to the top. And do the same thing with the other two that you tied together. I am behind here, but I hope you can still hear me. So take the other two this way and up to the side. And then take these four of these 646s. If one's a little too short, just squeeze the air up to meet it. Tie all four of these together. So I'm tying two together like this I'm sure I am <laughs> double knot it so it stays 
that and then take the other one out here and tie these two right up like over the middle of it right at the top here tie two together the other two like right over pull it pull it tight and then flip it under and double knot it right like that you can take one of the balloons around to see how it has air in it up here I don't really want that so I'm gonna cut some of that air out and then tie it pick another one of these scrap pieces and tie it to that and just tug it all right so we're basically gonna use this as the body and I'm gonna set that aside somewhere and then I'm gonna make the head of the lion so you're basically just gonna bunch up a bunch of 646s with about a four finger tail or five finger tail and we're gonna start making the lion's head and then just keep adding on to it so to start it I'm gonna make a, and it helps if you have a measuring tape on your table. I'm going to make a six inch uh, bubble, which is about eight fingers on this 646. And I'm going to twist it off. It's actually about a seven inch, so it's eight fingers, seven inch bubble. Twist that. And then I'm going to make another same size as this one. Here's the coffee cup. For reference it's about two coffee cups and then I'm gonna make three of the same things so hold it hold it here so it doesn't come undone twist this twist another one the same size and then another one and bring this one up here and we're gonna squeeze that and turn it around like this. Flip this under. So it looks like you have a dog head and neck. But only I'm gonna, I don't need this part, so I'm gonna cut that off and tie it. So to do that, just squeeze the air up. Put a little cut in it, right like that. And knot it around two times carefully. Pull it. And I'm going to knot it around one more time. So normally on a, um, a 260 lion, I would make this bubble and then a three bubble roll through. But I ran out of balloon already, which will happen with the 646. So I'm just going to take another 646. This one has a five finger tail. I'm going to tie it right here and continue going. So, so it looks like a big dog. It looks like a dog head with a long neck. Just so you know. So I'm going to tie this down here. And, and leave these little scrap pieces. You don't need to cut them off until they're all done with everything. Just in case you have to tie something on. Just leave them all on there. And then this bubble's going to get rolled through. So I'm going to hold it down to here. Squeeze the air up towards the end. Make it just a little bit smaller because this is going to be your roll through bubble. And then I'll put that one on my knees and, and tuck this one through. Make sure you twist it good so, so the air doesn't come out. And I'm just going to kind of roll it through like that. Okay, and so the eyes and the nose are actually going to end up going right here. So. This is going to be the chin. So I'm going to make a little bubble for the chin. And then I'm going to start up around the side of my head. So this is good enough for one cheek. And I'm going to hold this together. Don't leave go of it. Grab another 260. Or <laughs> 646. And you're going to tie, tie it up at the top of this one. Just wrap it around and tie it like two times. This is just like a 260 lion head, but only 
blown up. I don't want that to break off. It's still, it's still tied pretty good, so I'm gonna just go with it. Okay, so since this is a cheek, my next one is an ear, and I just want that to be a round bubble, so it's proportioned with um, this 260 line. So just twist it off so it's round like an orange. Ends up being three inches wide. You put a hand over it, like four fingers, and you're gonna pinch twist it. And I'm gonna hold these two down, just like I would with the 260, but only way bigger. Pull this bubble up away from these two balloons. And turn it. Turn it two or three times. So it doesn't come undone. And then when we put the main on, that'll hold everything together. So I have this. And then, <laughs> stop coming apart. And so this is the forehead. And this is going to be the same size as this one. It's what we have so far. Three, uh, A bubble here, a three bubble roll through. This is the chin. This is the cheek. And ear up here, the ear twist. And then the forehead up here is where the long part is. And you're gonna, what, come on then. If it comes undone, just retwist it down here. And then this forehead's gonna be the same size as the cheek. So just fold it down along the cheek, look at it, and twist it so that it's the same size. Twist it around. And this cheek ends up being, I don't think I told you guys, 11 inches. So this is 11 inches long on the cheek and the forehead. And this is just a round um, ear twist. And we're gonna do that again for this ear twist, pinch twist thingy. And this bubble came untwisted again, but we can do it. We can catch it later. So turn this pretty good. And then you're gonna fold this one down. Pull this up. These are a lot harder to work with for me anyway. And turn it. And then twist it two or three times. So it doesn't come undone. And now, this is long enough right here, but um, I may, if, I, if there's too much air or I can't twist it, I can twist it so there's a little bubble here that can sit somewhere instead of cutting it off and tying one up under here. You can cut this off, like let the air seep out, um, squeeze the end up like this and just cut this and let it seep out and then tie it. But I'm gonna try to use it since it's about a little bit longer than the uh, forehead and the other cheek. So I'm gonna try to use it. So what I'm gonna do is twist this back in. I like that. And bring this together. I'm gonna twist, squeeze this up a little bit. Squeeze it up. Boy, I twist off a little bubble. <laughs> like this, and then I'm gonna wrap it around here. Wrap this big teddy bear head around and flip it through the other side. Real staticky. So you have this, and now what I like to do, because this part, gets um this is three bubble roll through the littlest bubble should be in the front for the nose where the nose goes and this one's going to get tucked through here and it goes to the back and it gets tied down here but before i do that i want to add on my eyes so i'm going to take an 11 inch white round balloon inflate it and I'm, this is so much bigger, I'm just going to use two of them. I'm going to squeeze this down, and this one's going to be about the size of a grapefruit. It's going to be about four inches long. And then squeeze all the air towards the bottom, and then yank this up so you have all this room right up here. So it looks like this. About the same height as coffee cup. Do that with another one. 
squeeze all the air down. Hold up your other one. Make sure it's about the same size. So it doesn't have one freaky eye. And then, looks like I let too much air out. I'm gonna little, put another little puff in. Yeah, squeeze the air down and turn it. Or, <laughs> squeeze the air down and tie it. Pull that up so you have this. And then, these, you can tie these together. I'll knot it twice so it doesn't come out because this is a huge balloon that I'm working with. And then before you tuck this through, you bring these up to the top right here. And now, tuck it through. Now that's in the back. And then, this normally would go down here and you tie it. So, I'm going to pull this down, wrap it around. It's so much harder to do with uh, these huge balloons. Pull that around, and then I'm going to take my knot and wrap it up around through this bottom of the chin. And try to tie, I'm going to try to tie it around this bubble. You can just wait until you add on another balloon and tie it if you want to. But it's so, um, so big. What I'm going to do, just to let you know, is I'm going to end up putting this on top of here. Okay, so my big line head's gonna go on top of here. And I'll back the camera up in a minute, but I wanted to show you the head first. How I do the head. What I'm gonna do is just take um, the mane up around the head. So probably an easier way to do that is just to tie two 350s together. I have two 350s tied together and they have about four finger tails. Wrap them around this bubble. If you have a piece of bubble left. If not, you can take it like through the head if you want or you can add a little neck bubble on if you want to. I have to add a neck bubble on anyway, I think. So I didn't do that yet. So you just want to take that, wrap it around, or tie it to the bottom, or pull it through, and then you're going to go up around the ears. So big. Big balloon. So this goes up around one ear. This is going to go across the forehead, and it'll get tied right to this ear. Yeah, just make sure you leave these little knots out. See how there's a piece right here? I'm going to tie it. You can add in uninflated balloons around there if you need something to tie them to. Take this one up here. Up and around this here. Take it to the front. This is going to get cut and tied off because that's not long enough for anything. I'm going to tie it to one more of these. Next 350 around one of the ears. Tie it. So I have like two layers of 350s going around for the main. And then I'll wrap this around. I'm going to use this one for the little bearded chin. So since there's a nice tail in it, i squeeze it a little bit. And then I'm going to curl it up around for a chin. 
and wrap it around this bubble. And this little bubble here has been pretty helpful so far. And then I need one more. So I like to have three rows on the top. I'm just gonna wrap it, wrap, I wrap this around this bearded part. I'm gonna tie it two times. And then take it up around here. Wrap it around the ear. And then take it right to the back. And then before I tie this around this ear, I'm going to knot it to make it tight right there. I'm going to tie that. I'm just going to tuck that knot right under so you can't see it. And here's what you have so far. This is the lion's head. Okay. Back in here. In the head a little bit. Here's the back side of the lion. It looks like the back of a teddy bear head. And then I'm going to straighten these ears out. Straighten out your ears. So they're forward a little bit. <sighs> Harder to work with these for sure. Okay. okay. So let me fix the ears again. All right. So I have this big lion head, okay? And now, um, now I'm going to stop the camera for a second and then come back. I'm going to try to put this a little farther away and show you how I put extra added uh, details on there, like curls for the hair. I'll be right back. Okay, hello again. Um, basically, all I did was attach the lion's head to the body and I wrapped that little bubble around and I took his beard and tucked it through and I thought it looked good just tucked in the front just like that so this is the line attached um, but I want to show you his feet real quick if you add detail it can make your line look really really good so I just um, took a 350 and I did this and I'm going to slide it over the foot and um, to make this, and if you can see it, um, basically it's a 350 that fits over that nine inch round yellow one. So it is 10 inches long. So you make a 10 inch bubble. Which is about like from my elbow to my wrist and then you make three and you want to twist them really well three five finger bubbles so about five fingers which should be about four inches well this <laughs> yeah this is four inches so you want to make three of those one two you twist them the same way you twist them really well um, I started with um, a 350 that had about a five finger tail. Just so you know. So twist three of these little toes about the same size. And then your last one, you want it to be the same length as the first one, a 10 inch bubble that you started with. And just tie these together really well. So tie it two times. Like that and then you're just gonna tuck it over pick two of the feet and tuck these over right like that do the same thing on another one of the feet just tuck them down in that's all and they just sit right there 
Can you see that? Okay. And now, just for the sake of showing you, I'm going to sit him down on the chair so you can see the mane better. And to add a little bit of detail to the mane, I'm going to turn his feet that way out front, turn him around. Um, what you're going to do is take um, curls. So I have brown and golden rod tied together just to um, accent, make like another accent for a color. I thought brown and golden rod would be good. And I'm going to take these and just tuck them in between. So once you tie, tie the knots together, and then just tuck them right in between these uh, 350s like that, see? And then just kind of fix them. You can, uh, you can tuck them around. You want to adjust them and make them look kind of cute. These can get tucked around. These ones, it doesn't matter. You just kind of adjust them to make them look cute and then just go the whole way around for the mane. He's falling, he's jumping off. So you don't want too much goldenrod yellow all together. You can tuck it behind. See how there's all that goldenrod? I want like goldenrod and brown kind of all mixed up. So you're just going to adjust this and go the whole way up around the head. I'll just leave the guys on for a little bit while I do this. Figure out where I want it. Back one behind. You can tuck it. There's another 350 back there, so you can tuck it behind. And then I'm gonna go the whole way up around, but I think what would look good is um, eyebrows on him. So I'm gonna take one curl that I have and Take it back behind, like through the head, and then wrap it the knot up around the ear and just hold on to it. So it doesn't come undone. And I'm gonna take this up around one of the eyes, squeeze the air out, just twist it, tuck it in, and keep it up behind. So it gives them sort of like eyebrows, and bring that up to the front. Just for like some more detail. It looks better with more detail. I'll twist this together since it's kind of in my way. And then just put one in front of the other one. And then I'll take this down here. And twist it. I'm going to, I think I'll pop this off again. And tie that off. And then just take this through the back of the head that, and that you have. You can cut or pop the side off and wrap it around the ear. Big balloons, big, big, big balloons. Okay. Oh, it looks a little meaner, but he's still cute. And then take the rest of your curls up around the top. And try not to get like two golden rods together. Try to get it like brown, golden rod, brown, golden rod, brown, golden rod. So, ooh, he's got a little cool looking do going on there. Oh, tucked up. Do I want it tucked up around there? Sure, why not? So do that and then just keep going around. And if, <laughs> I think I might be running out of curls, so I might have to stop the video and come back in in a second. But you get the idea. See how he's looking? Now. Okay, so I'm going to go the whole way around. I have to blow up a couple more curls, so I'll meet you in another minute here. Okay, I'm back, and this is how I arranged the 
the curls around the face and you can just take one curl and just tie it on to another knot. You don't have to put like keep putting two. You can just tuck them in here and there. Remember, you're the artist, so whatever you think looks good, just do that. It doesn't matter. It does. It, I mean, maybe you want red and green uh, curls. Whatever you want. There's no wrong way. But for the mouth, I thought it would look good with a little scrap piece of um, a 160 and. This is seven inches long and it's a little mushy and I'm just going to curve it and tuck it in to the mouth here and I left some long ends here. So I'm just going to reach through and tie that to itself. So can get ideas as you go along and see what you think looks good. But I'm just going to tie that to itself and then tuck that 260 in the back. And I'll fix it right here. And that's going to be his bottom lip. And then don't forget his tail. Or his tail. I kind of curled a 350 on my machine. It's easier to curl if you have an electric machine than not to. And to make his tail, I'm going to um, inflate a brown 350 all but a four finger tail. Probably not going to use it all. And then I'm going to twist um, one inch bubbles and pinch twist them. One, two, three, and I'm going to do four of them just in case one pops. I have extra ones. And just so the tail sits nice and then wrap that around so four pinch twisted bubbles wrap it around and then about let's see a six inch bubble which is like eight fingers uh, make a six inch bubble wrap it back to itself tuck this up through the 260 go right up on top like over top of this and wrap it down the other side and twist it into there so it looks like he has a little bit of a, a long tail like that and then this little part's going to get cut and tied off so squeeze it up so there's a little end without airing it nip it at the top and then tie a little knot in that pull it up and just wrap it around those pinch twists And then, uh, what, whatever end you want to do, you might want to just take a, yeah, we'll, we'll go up to this knot end and wrap the knot up around the pinch twist and just wrap it around until that tail sits on there nice and steady. Like that. And then twist off a bubble like this. Go up around the back and push this down and wrap it around the bottom of that 636. Wrap it the whole way up around and tuck it in to the middle. Okay? So that it stays. And there's your tail. So there's a lion. Don't pull. <laughs> then I'll show you how I'm going to paint the nose on. I think it'll look better painted on. And then I'll paint on the eyes. I'll do that. Now then I'm going to let them dry overnight. And if you want to, you can come back after the black pupils are dried. And you can um, put little white dots in there. So um, can you see? I'm going to move this up a little bit closer so you can see me paint. Now I'm going to do, I'll do the eyes first since they're up higher. So you want to just take, I'm just going to take black acrylic paint because I think it'll be, it'll be easier than trying to deal with a Sharpie. So I'm just dipping my brush in there and rest your hand steady on top of the nose and you just want to do circles. 
and just fill it in like that. I mean, you can go over it twice. I can come back tomorrow and go over it again. You get the idea. Just go around in a circle. You can fill it in with a Sharpie. doesn't matter. I think it's easier. It fills out the space easier with the, the paint. I'm just going to mush that in there and try to get that all done. They sell um, gloss acrylics that look really nice on the balloons. They're shiny when they dry instead of this uh, dry. Like, this stuff looks kind of like matte and cracky looking unless it's, uh, and this isn't, <laughs> unless it's gloss paint. So, like at Walmart, I think they're like 50 cents. You can get them as cheap as 50 cents or a dollar or a dollar 20 for a whole thing of the paints, like a bottle like this. It's a two ounce bottle. Right in the uh, arts and crafts section. You can also get them at your local craft stores. They have them there. And I'm just gonna go around here. Up around. And then paint that. It's a little thin up with the ball. <laughs> the top left part of the eye. He's weighted a little bit. He keeps jumping off the chair. That crazy lion. All right, and then the last thing I have to do is the nose. So I'm gonna let the eyes dry overnight and show you how to do the nose. <laughs> I can't get them to stop jumping. Okay, so I'm gonna take another paintbrush and I'm gonna take uh, this little thing of brown because I think he'll look better, his nose will look better in brown. And then draw his nose on. I'm gonna come down towards the bottom and draw a line this way. Ooh, my paint needs stirred. Make sure you stir your paint. And then a line this way. And see how the paint covers a nicer, like a larger area. So you just want to paint a nose on right like that. And I'll scoop it back up. Kind of looks like a, uh, a boomerang. A little bit. So I'm going to paint my boomerang on and let it dry overnight. And if you have to, after it's completely dry, you can touch it up a little bit. This is made out of big balloons, like 646s and um, 350s, and these are pretty tight. So I'm just going to uh, put it in 55-gallon drum bags once he's dry and stick it in my basement. It's for Saturday, and it's Wednesday now. Well, I guess it's Thursday now because it's late at night. So, I wonder if I should draw a line right down here. I think I'm going to. And the, the fun thing about this is if you don't like it, you can kind of wipe that paint off. You can get a rag and water and, and wipe it back and forth and it will come off and you can start all over. But yeah, I think it looks good with a little uh, lip line like that. And... That's good for now. And one other thing you want to do is um, don't forget to give him whiskers. But he's got to dry. So um, I'll come back again in one second with his whiskers and show you how to put those on. Okay, for the whiskers, um, I'm going to get uh, three, or three 160s for one side and three 160s 
for the other side. So six one sixties, and you're gonna blow a little puff of air in them and come down about yay long. <laughs> so you have however long you want your whiskers sticking out. These ones are gonna be about seven inches long. Um, and I let just a little puff of air so they stand out on their own and I'm gonna tie these in a knot. So basically, you're gonna take that uh, three that you put a little puff of air in and squeeze the air down till there's about seven inches of a balloon left and tie a knot. Don't leave go so that teeny bit of air doesn't come out and they'll stand up on their own then. And then do the same thing for the other three and then tie it together, tie them all together. And tug it. You're not gonna see that big messy part because that's gonna get tucked in. So after he dries, I don't wanna take a chance right now and bump my brown paint, but I'm gonna tuck this through here and out through the other side once he dries, but not right now. And so I'm gonna let him dry overnight and I'm gonna come back and show you what he looks like tomorrow. Okay, bye for now. And here is the finish line. I might still touch his nose up a little bit on the right side. <laughs> But there he's pretty much finished. And there you go. That was fun to make. Have a good night. Just wanted to show you what he looks like. There's his tail back there.